Hello and welcome to this video on quartiles from listed data. Now suppose we had a list of data, let's just say the heights of people in your class, and that you'd ordered them from the smallest value to the largest value. So this tells you what percentage of the way along the data you are starting from the smallest value. So this would be your minimum value here, and then that's 100% along the data, so that would be your maximum value at the end of your list of data. And we know that when we're halfway across the data, the middle value, we know that is known as the median. Median meaning the middle of the data. But we can also have 25% along the data, and we call that the lower quartile. And we can also have 75% along the data, and that's unsurprisingly known as the upper quartile. And we know when we find the difference between the minimum and the maximum value of some data, we call that the range. But we could also find the difference between the lower and the upper quartile of the data, between the 25% mark and the 75% mark, and that is known as the interquartile range because it's between the two, the two quartiles, the lower quartile and the upper quartile. And the idea is, is that range tells you like how spread out your data is, so the, the width of the data. And the interquartile range is just telling you how wide the sort of the, the bulk in the middle of your data is. If we kind of get rid of the bottom quarter of the people and the, the top quarter of the people in terms of their heights, because we could consider those to be the extreme values, like the bulk of the people in the middle, we, would, we could find of those people and that would give you the interquartile range. So it's almost like the range, but without the extreme values. That's how we can think of the interquartile range as. Now, how do we find these values given listed? So let's just take these examples here. Um, if I write this one out first, we've got two centimetres, four centimetres, five centimetres, nine centimetres, and 15 centimetres. So we've got these here. Now, to find the median, we know we'd take the middle one. So that would be the median here. Now, if there is a middle value, imagine crossing that out. And then what we could do is, in the remaining values below that, we could find the median of that bottom half. Now, what's the median of two and four? Well, there isn't a middle value, and therefore we take halfway between those, so the lower quartile would be halfway between them, which is three centimetres. And then, similarly, if we look at the top half, we find the median of the top half, excluding that median in the middle. Then, what's halfway between nine and 15? We can add them together and divide by two. Nine plus 15 is 24 divided by two. So the upper quartile, would be 12 centimetres. And then we said that the interquartile range, let's just use IQR, is the difference between the lower and the upper quartile. So 12 minus 3 gives you 9 centimetres. Let's do another example. We've got here 3, 4, 6, 10, 13, 17, 21. I haven't got units this time. It could be, I don't know, the ages of people. So we look for the median first. We count inwards. Uh, 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 uh. We have a median, so that's a middle one. And then we kind of ignore that middle one. Imagine it's not there. And then we look at the median of the bottom half. So we can see there is a middle value this time. So the lower quartile is equal to 4. And then the median of the upper half, excluding the middle value, is 17. And the interquartile range would be the difference between those. So 17 minus 4 is equal to 13. Now let's do question 3. We've got 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20. Now we've got an even number of items this time. So we count inwards. Duh, 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 duh. We can see the median is halfway between the two middle ones. So the median would be 8. And if we've got an even number of items, we can split the data exactly into half. We don't have to cross out a middle one this time because there is no middle value. And we just find the medium of the bottom half, these four values here, and the medium of the top half. So we find the medium of the bottom half. Well, there's two middle values of the bottom half, one and five. So the lower quartile would be halfway between one and five, which is three. And then we look at the top half. What's halfway between the two middle values? Well, halfway between 12 and 15 is, well, if we add them divide by 2, we'll get 13.5. So the upper quartile is 13.5. And similarly, the interquartile range, 13.5 minus 3 is 9.5. What about 4? Now, I'm not going to list them this time. But there's a trick that you can sometimes use under certain circumstances. Let's say we count the number of items. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. We've got 15 items. And the trick is this. If that number of items is one less than a multiple of 4, and that is, that's one less 
than a multiple of four, then the trick to quickly find the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile is to add one to that and then divide by four. So if we add one to that, we get 16. Divide by four, we get four. And then the lower quartile item would be the fourth item. And then we do just multiples of four. So the median would be the eighth item and then the upper quartile would be the 12th item. Just to give you another example, let's just say I had um, 23 items, then the lower quartile would be that, well, let's add one to that is 24 and divide by four, that's six. So the lower quartile would be the sixth item. The median would be the 12th item, so we're doing multiples of six, and the upper quartile would be the 18th item. And this trick only works if this is one less than a multiple of four. So let's just finish off this question. Uh, we want the fourth item, one, two, three, four. So that is eight kilograms. And we want the median item, which is the eighth item, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, is 15 kilograms. And then the upper quartile is the twelfth item, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, is 25 kilograms. And therefore the interquartile range is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which is 25 minus 8, which is 17 kilograms. Make sure you don't forget the unit from either your range or your interquartile range. Now these final few questions, we've got question 5, and notice this time we've got a stem and leaf diagram, and you may want to watch the video on that first if you haven't seen a stem and leaf diagram before. So let's count the number of values we have and see if we can use that trick. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 values. Now 11 is 1 less than a multiple of 4, so if we've got 11 items, then if we add 1 we get 12, divide by 4 we get 3, so the lower quartile is the third item, which equals 1, 2, 3, so it's this which is 11. Let's look at the key, 4 line 2 would mean 42 minutes, so it would be 11 minutes. Make sure you include the unit. The upper quartile would be, well we times that by 3, because the median would be the 6th item, and then the upper quartile would be the ninth item, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so it's 25 minutes. And that means the interquartile range is, if you subtract these, you get 14 minutes. So let's do this test your understanding question. I want you to do it this time. You've got these numbers here, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 17, 18, 19, 30. And I want you to find the interquartile range. You may want to pause the video here to have a go at that. Right, hopefully you've had a chance. Let's count the number of items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is one less than a multiple of 4. So we add 1 to get 16, divide that by 4 is 4. So we want the fourth item for the lower quarter. 1, 2, 3, 4. It is 9. And the upper quarter is the 12th item because that times 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17, and therefore the interquartile range is equal to 17 minus 9, which equals 8. So well done if you got that right.